We will be talking about two different types of arthritis, osteoarthritis, which is a chronic degenerative disease, and rheumatoid arthritis, which is a chronic autoimmune disease. Osteoarthritis is a progressive degeneration and breakdown of the cartilage in one or more joints. It typically affects both sexes and progresses through the age of 40. Joints frequently affected include the hands, spine, hips, and knees. Osteoarthritis takes place due to many factors including joint trauma, inflammation, and overuse. Other factors include obesity, medication use, and metabolic, chemical, or genetic disorders. The cartilage becomes thin and may flake off. The bone underneath becomes hard and dense and begins to form spur-like growths, which can rub together or break off in the synovial fluid. This causes painful, swollen, or stiff joints, which may lead to decreased function or range of motion. Patients complain of a deep, aching joint pain or a grating feeling when they move. Some are able to tell you when the weather is changing. I feel it in my bones, they'll say. It may not affect the patient too much at the beginning, but as it gets worse, you'll see a change in gait or the ability to function. X-rays, CT scans, and MRI scans will show structural changes and deformities such as narrowing of the joint space and bony growths. Health promotion and education are important in slowing the process and possibly even preventing it. Keeping body weight down and avoiding stress-inducing or joint-damaging sports and activities, such as football or running, will decrease the stress on the joints. Encouraging stress-reducing activities, such as swimming or yoga, will help decrease the stress placed on the joint while building muscle, which will promote joint stability. Treatment includes resting to take the stress off the affected joint. Heat and cold therapy may help reduce muscle tension and ease pain. Encouraging weight loss and teaching proper body mechanics may decrease the stress put on the joints in the back. Medications, starting out with aspirin, acetaminophen, or Motrin, will help with inflammation and discomfort. Aleve and Celebrex are also medications used for osteoarthritis. Surgery is offered to patients who cannot function or handle the pain. Total joint replacements and back or neck laminectomies are the typical surgeries. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease which primarily affects women younger than the age of 40. It is typically characterized by bilateral joint involvement as opposed to one or more joints in, as in osteoarthritis. Infections or viruses cause the body to release rheumatoid factor to fight against antibodies. Rheumatoid factor causes connective tissue inflammation and attacks healthy tissues. Synovial membrane inflammation causes joints to become red, hot, and tender. Formation of granulation tissue, or also known as a panis, begins to form around the joints. Fibrous adhesions, calcifications, and scar tissue forms and causes deformity, restrictive movement, and bone density loss. The joint may eventually become immobile. Many patients complain of morning stiffness, fatigue, and depression as well as hot and tender joints. Because rheumatoid arthritis affects connective tissue in addition to joints, we have to remember that ischemic organ failure can also take place if blood vessels are affected. Diagnosis is achieved through blood testing. Tests check for the presence of rheumatoid factor, erythrocyte sedimentation rate, or ESR, which identifies the presence of an inflammatory connective tissue disease. Hemoglobin, hematocrit, and red blood cells are checked to check for anemia, which is caused by rheumatoid arthritis. Synovial fluid is aspirated, checking for increased white blood cells, turbidity, and volume. X-rays, CT scans, and MRIs check for the degree of damage and the extent of the disease. Caring for patients, we want to preserve range of motion and discourage muscle atrophy and immobility of the joint. Building muscle will help support the affected joint. We want to make sure that patients understand the importance of being on and staying on a sufficient medication regimen so that they are able to function and work on mobility. Inform the patient to rest the joint after physical therapy or use heat or cold therapy to help with inflammation and discomfort. Promote independence by introducing assistive devices such as a walker or a cane. Patients may feel fatigue due to their anemic status. They should eat a diet high in calories and take vitamins. 
time for rest is good for them. Make sure that they conserve energy by spacing their activities and allowing time for rest in between. Body image is a valid concern when the disease may cause deformity of the hands or other affected areas. Discuss this with patients as well as having them share their concerns and discuss their feelings. Corrective surgery can also be done on these patients to improve functionality as well as body image. Medications used for treating patients with rheumatoid arthritis include NSAIDs, which decrease the inflammation and the pain. Methotrexate is a disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drug. It is used to reduce joint destruction and slow the disease progression. They usually try to start it within the first three months of diagnosis to try and stop the disease process. Enbrel is usually given with the methotrexate. It's a tumor necrosis factor blocker. Tumor necrosis factor in the synovium promotes inflammation and joint destruction. Therefore, we give the Embrel to try to reduce the symptoms and to delay the progression. It has two tumor necrosis factor receptor sites, which bind to and neutralize the tumor necrosis factor. Remicade is another tumor necrosis factor blocker that's been approved for rheumatoid arthritis. It targets tumor necrosis factor complexes and neutralizes them in hopes to reduce symptoms and halt the disease progression. Glucocorticoids have anti-inflammatory actions to relieve severe symptoms and slow the disease process. They can become toxic if used for long periods of time, so we usually try to use them for short-term periods. They are good for relieving symptoms till other drugs kick in. Our goal with arthritis patients is to help them get to a place where they can function and enjoy life despite the complications. Bells ringing in my heart, joy bells ringing in my heart. Let the Savior hear me know. I don't know what rest it, how it goes. I do to keep the joy bells ringing in your heart.